Today I'm gonna show you how you can install and configure fancy product designer designable product. So guys, let's get this job done. First of all, what I have to do is to just add, just come over here and we will, we will install uh, WooCommerce first and then fancy product designer. So let, guys, let's get started. First of all, you, you will come over just over here in plugins. Just click on add new plugin. And we'll let here uh, WooCommerce. You don't have to enter, it will automatically load this. Uh, just just like this one by automatic, automatic, and uh, which have 5 plus million active installs. Just click on install now and load is still rolling up. It's just it will take some time installing this plugin. In the meantime, I'll show you from where you can easily buy the Fancy Pro Designer plugin. It's paid plugin. You can you can also download it uh, another version of that plugin, but I will not recommend you to another version. So I will recommend you to buy this plugin. So it will have no wires or uh, links or something else. So Fancy Pro. Design WordPress plugin. So guys, here's the code canyon.net link here. Just click on that link. So here is your fancy product designer plugin. It costs you $69, but it's really worth it. I have the license version already available. So let's come back to the point. Our WooCommerce plugin has been installed. Just click on activate. Um, you can see that it's activated and it's showing right here. So our next step is to just install Fancy Product Designer, which I've already bought. So I'll also share this link with you in the description so don't you have to worry about that. So just click on add new plugin. Just because I have already bought and downloaded the tab plugin, so I'll install it from my local server. So just click on upload plugin here. The upload button will appear. Just write about the normal WordPress plugins. Just click on choose file. I'm gonna I'm gonna select this <coughs> file from the local so it's all for that. Mm, okay, it should go fancy product design uh, licensed here. Just click on double click on the plugin and it's showing up here. Just click on style now. Surely it will take some time over there. You can also upload that plugin from cPanel. Let me show you how you can do that. Just log into your cPanel. If if you if your work no normal purpose is taking so much time like that, in my case, so you will just go log into your into your cPanel account. Just go to file manager. In case I have created a subdomain for that purpose, I'll just go in my subdomain. 
WP content, plugins, and just upload right here. I've already uploaded that, so I don't have to follow this process. So I'll cross this one and reload the page. So I'll just extract that plugin here. Fancy product designer has been extracted successfully. So I'll have just go to, just go to install plugins here and you just show the list uh, I'm gonna find fancy product designer. There you go. Just click on activate it. Oh, for now fancy product designer and WooCommerce both plugins are activated and we are ready to go. I'm just gonna close the C panel and first of all you have to create a fancy product designer product you just came to know that uh, WooCommerce products and fancy product designer products both are different we have to interlink, interlink both products together so let's get started uh, I'll go in products fancy product designer in products first I'm gonna create this fancy product designer product. They they have they have already pre-built layouts as well. So just click on import here. Demos. They are pretty cool demos. I'm gonna select this. Photo frame. Down. Just click on download, it will download the zip file in your desktop. So just click on desktop, and save this one. Okay, once it has been downloaded, just click on import, select the downloaded one. In my case, it's for a frame. Just click on that. Imported images if you want to import the images that into, into your library just click on yes It start processing Waiting for blah, 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 blah. It will take some time and just load all the phones Backgrounds and all that stuff so just click on photo frames here it will show you it has imported one view in your product okay so what's next we have successfully imported photo frames product but you can't view that until you will attach this fancy pro designer product to the WooCommerce product so our next step is to create a new shining new full commerce product so just click go on the products and click on add new product just give this a title photo frames I'm gonna so just scroll down here and you will see this box here this fancy product designer box you have to select the product one and just click on drop down here you will show both products are sh both fancy product designer products are showing right up here which we have created here uh, business card i reported yesterday for another tutorial so we have two products from fancy product designer they are showing in our WooCommerce product area here. Okay, we'll select the photo frame one here and just click on publish. So now our product, WooCommerce product, has been created successfully. So we just have to view that product. So just click on view product, it will open, in, open up in view tab. And guys, here you go. Here is the fancy product designer product. Okay, just let us just test this one for uh, click to add image. I'm just gonna click here. Oh, 
does not have the required DPI blah 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 let me choose another one got you man here is our designer it's working just perfectly so guys if you have any query about that if you ask if you want to ask anything just leave your question in the comment I'll try my level best to answer any query from your side stay blessed thanks and bye for now